Killam. Welcome back to my channel. In today's color rescue, we're gonna talk about the only two neutral paint colors that you need to know in order to choose the right one for any wood flooring in your house when it's empty because you've just moved in and you have no idea what to do because you might not have any furniture. And we're also gonna bust some myths about how much you actually need to be concerned with which color matches which floor. We're gonna also talk about that. So let's get started. I've been choosing the right colors and finishes for clients all around the world for the past 25 years. And when I was a brand new decorator, I would arrive in clients' homes and I'm looking around desperately for inspiration and finding none. Back in the late 90s, early 2000s, there was a lot of orange, oak, and fur. So the color that everybody got from me back in the day was orange beige because that looked like that was a good match with their orange floors. And then fast forward, five years later, I had a client call me and she said, you know what, Maria, like we're really ready to put in some custom drapery. We'd like you to help us with that. And also we wanna repaint the walls. So I walked in, I looked at all their orange floors and all the orange beige paint color on the walls that I had specified. And I thought, ah, this is when I had no idea what I was doing. Back then I made the same mistakes that many homeowners do where they just look around. I mean, the house is empty and the only color inspiration when you first move into any house is really the flooring. And so that just seems naturally like that's the right thing to do is, oh, let me find the right white or neutral to coordinate with my floors. So we're gonna bust some myths about that today. And also you're still gonna get the two paint colors that I would choose. The first myth is my clients wanna know, what's the right paint color that's gonna coordinate with my existing wood floors? The second one is, I think they're too pink or they're too orange. What's a magical paint color that might tone that down a little bit? And number three, I have gray floors. Does that mean I need to pick a grayish or a gray? And wait a minute, you know what? This is all just too confusing. Like what's the perfect white? Because that just goes with everything, right? So the first thing is, if you have flooring in this world of light to medium to even a darker brown world, even moving to a little bit of orange, they're really versatile. Your floors are like a pair of jeans. Really, anything's gonna work with them. Now, number two, a lot of times people say to me, but Maria, like I have these orange floors or they're a little bit pink. What color can I use to tone them down? So that's actually not a thing because your floors are still gonna be orange they're still gonna be pink when your paint color goes up. But it's about the decorating, it's about the rug. So you don't have to worry about that. Number three, if your floors are more red or more gray or they're busy and blotchy, that is when you do need to consider them in your overall decorating plan, all right? So now, number four, a lot of people think, let's just paint it all white, shall we? I mean doesn't white just go with everything? But here's the thing, white really only looks good if you have a lot of white furniture, which isn't really what most people have. So you might've even moved into a house right now that has stark white walls, because that is the trend right now. And you might be looking around thinking, well, your furniture looks dirty next to those white walls. And that is why you're here. Well, I'm gonna help you. Okay, so if you want a really pretty complex cream, something a little more interesting than white, then I would suggest Feather Down in Benjamin Moore or Neutral Ground in Sherwin-Williams. They're basically identical, so use whichever paint company that you're familiar with. This is what it looks like in my house with my medium brown floors. It'll look good with any one of these versatile floors that you may already have in your home. Now, if you have gray flooring, a pale taupe like this, Sherwin-Williams, Egret White, or Benjamin Moore, Pale Oak, will look the best because taupe is a combination of beige and gray. So it will most likely work with any undertone of gray floors that you might have. Now, if you have more in your house, like maybe you've got countertops you need to consider or you've got existing furniture, then let's get a little deeper into which undertone might be better, which neutral that's gonna pull your space together. So the two paint colors that I just gave you, one for the world of your versatile, timeless wood floors, the second one for the world of your gray floors, they will do the job. They will not upset you. 
But let's go a little deeper here and we'll use my Understanding Undertones color wheel that I invented that has the nine most useful neutrals on the front and the four most useful whites on the back to show you why they are bossier and not as versatile as you thought. So the wheel is designed to identify the neutral undertone of anything and everything. So if we place it on the first one, we can see that this one is actually quite blue. The second one is a lot more violet. And the third one, if you spin it around, you're like, well, it might be taupe. It might even be green gray. So this one might, this one will probably look good with either the taupe or the green gray. So let's just talk about the violet gray one to really hone down on the right neutral that will work the best with this floor. Because you're gonna find the four violet grays that are in my system and test all four of them to see which one you like the best. You can see that this one is a little bit more purple, but if you don't want it to be that overtly purple, then you could choose from the other three. So your next step is to go to my system of the 50 best neutrals and whites that you will find in my how to choose paint colors. It's all in the undertones. You pull out the four that I've got listed in the book. That's it. You just need these four. Each sample in my system has the undertone written directly on it. So you can trust me that if I'm calling it a violet gray grayish, that's what it is. And once this goes all over your walls, it's going to have a slight violet undertone to it which isn't going to scream purple, but it's suddenly going to pull your room together and it will coordinate with your floors. So wasn't that fun? How easy was that? This is exactly what my system does and it works the same for every other neutral on my color wheel and the whites on the back. All you need is my list of 50 paint colors curated by undertone that you will find at the back of my how to choose paint colors. It's all in the undertones and I will include the links below Please like and subscribe if you like this content and keep your notifications on so you don't miss a single episode of Color Rescue. And I'll see you next time.